Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up an Echo Glow. So the Amazon Echo Glow is designed to work with Alexa, and what it is is a smart lamp that you can turn on or off with voice commands. You can also change the colors of this, or you can even set alarms or timers with this so that it'll turn the light on to wake you up just like an alarm clock. Now, a lot of people use these for kids' rooms as a nightlight uh, or a reading lamp, and you can do a lot of stuff with voice commands with this Echo Glow. Now, one thing to note that it does require another Alexa device in order to be able to control it. So we've just got an Amazon Echo Show 5 here, but it'll work with any of your Alexa devices like an Alexa Echo Dot or any other Amazon A-L-E-X-A device out there. So in order to get this set up, you're gonna to need to have the Alexa app open, which we've got right here. If you haven't done that already, go ahead, download the Alexa app and install it on your phone. Now what you're gonna do is go down here in the lower right hand corner and you're gonna click on more. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on add a device up here at the top. It says, which device would you like to set up? We're gonna go ahead and click on Amazon Echo and there's gonna be a variety of different options here. So you've got Echo Buds, Echo Auto, Echo Loop, uh, Echo Sub. We are looking for Echo Glow, which is right down here at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and select that right there. It says, connect your Amazon Echo Lite to Alexa. To set up your Amazon Echo Lite, the Alexa app may ask for permissions to access your mobile device's Bluetooth, camera, and location. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you have your Bluetooth on on your phone and that you have your phone connected to Wi-Fi. So we've got both of those things done. We're gonna go ahead and click Next here. It says, locate the QR code for your Amazon Echo Lite now, before we go any further and scan the QR code on the light, we wanna make sure that we go ahead and plug this in. So we've got a little USB connector and here's the power adapter that it connects to. So plug this into a power outlet so that you have this all powered up and ready to go. And then you're ready to go ahead and click scan barcode. All right, you can see that we have our Echo Glow set up and connected to power. So now we're ready to go ahead and scan the barcode. Click on this and then on the bottom of the Echo Glow, there is a QR code. So go ahead and use your phone to scan that. It says looking for your Amazon Echo Light. Now, while we're waiting for this to get set up, one thing to note is that the Amazon Echo Glow sets up using a 2.4 gigahertz network. A lot of people have Wi-Fi networks that are five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Sometimes you need to make sure that you disable that five gigahertz network in order to get this set up, or you need to specifically make sure that your phone is connected to your 2.4 gigahertz network while you're trying to set up the Amazon Echo Lite or the Amazon Echo Glow. That's an issue many people can run into. So if you're having issues getting this set up or connecting to Wi-Fi, make sure you're connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz network. But for most people, it will work with the five or 2.4 gigahertz dual band networks. Now it says our Amazon Echo Lite is connected. Let's go ahead and click next here. It says, where is your light? So we can choose a name here. We'll just call this one bedroom two and click skip to add it to a group. It says, what would you like to name your light? We'll call this one Echo Glow, just for ease of understanding what device this is and click continue. It says, understanding parental consent, Echo Glow is designed with kids in mind. To enable Alexa control of your Echo Glow, we need you to provide parental consent. This is required even if there are no children in your household. Go ahead, click continue there. It says your permission will apply to the following profiles. We're gonna go ahead and click continue here. Now you need to log in with your Amazon password for your Amazon account. Now we need to read through the parental consent and go ahead and click agree. It says your Echo Glow setup is completed. Your light is ready to use. Let's click done. So here's the control screen for the Echo Glow. We can go ahead and adjust the brightness here so we can go all the way up to 100% or we can go way down and put it at let's say 8% or even less than that. Now we've got the lights on in here so it's hard to tell how bright this is but at night it is a nice color. And you can see it does respond to touching it. So when you touch it, you can actually change the color here. So you can uh, go from white, red, green, blue, purple, some basic colors. 
Now, let's say you just want to turn on or off your Echo Glow without needing to go to the app or use an Alexa command. You just click right here and you can turn it on or off with a button on the back here. So just click that on or off. Now we can make further adjustments on the app here. We can turn it on or off with our phone. We can change the color, wide variety of colors. We could even uh, change this to turquoise if we wanted to or any of the other colors in there. Lavender is even an option. And you can go ahead, click solid color, or you can go here and click campfire, and then it's going to give you a glowing effect of different colors. Now let's see if we go fire truck, what that does, uh, and it gives us a little effect there. And we can choose any of these other ones, siren, underwater. Uh, you're gonna get all kinds of different effects you can get with the light. And it doesn't show up great on camera, but it will have a ton of different effects there. So you can click that. Now, if you wanna turn that tap option we had where we were able to turn it on and off or actually change the colors by tapping it, you can just go ahead and slide that on or you can slide that off. So let's slide that on and then we're gonna be able to change that color again. But if we slide that off, you won't be able to turn that on or off. Now, if you want to click down here, you can create a routine and you can have this perform different actions based on different inputs, uh, whether that be a time of day or when you ask a question. But you can also now control this with your other Alexa device. So we've got the Echo Show here, but this once again will work with devices like an Echo Dot or any of the other Alexa devices out there. So if we just want to turn this on and off, we can say, Alexa, turn off Echo Glow. Alexa, turn on Echo Glow. Alexa, set Echo Glow to 100%. Alexa, set Echo Glow color to blue. Now, you can also set alarms and timers with this, so you can have a light turn on after, let's say, 20 minutes, or you could set this as a wake-up alarm, which is what a lot of people do when it's dark in the mornings. So you could say, Alexa, set wake me up at 7 a.m. with Echo Glow. Wake up light alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow with Echo Glow. So now this Echo Glow will turn on at 7 a.m. It's gonna slowly turn the light on and it'll be kind of like having an alarm clock with a light instead of a sound. And some people like that for a more gradual wake up in the morning. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Echo Glow. If you like this video, please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click on any of the links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.